Our team has created a supersonic wind tunnel capable of Mach 1.8 speeds for use in a laboratory setting. This is an overview of our system. First, we have the 3D printed converging inlet nozzle. This allows air entering the system to stabilize before entering the tunnel itself. Attached to the inlet, we have the wind tunnel, which is machined out of cast acrylic. Following the tunnel assembly is the outlet nozzle and ducting attached to the vacuum air source. The tunnel starts with an inlet converging diverging nozzle, which is used to increase flow from subsonic to supersonic. As subsonic flow enters, the converging area increases the flow's velocity due to their inverse correlation. As the flow hits Mach 1, it reaches supersonic conditions. Supersonic flow demonstrates a direct relationship between area and velocity. So the diverging area speeds up the flow to achieve Mach 1.8 in the rectangular test section following the inlet. Within the section is a small test article, a simple airfoil used to visualize supersonic flow over a standard shape used for aerodynamic demonstration. After the test section comes a diffuser outlet nozzle, which is designed to create a normal shock and slow the flow before leaving the tunnel. The vacuum is responsible for creating flow throughout the system at the right speed and pressure. In order to visualize the supersonic flow over the test article, we have implemented Schlerian photography. This method utilizes refraction off of two concave mirrors in order to make visible any differences in density within the frame of the camera. This is an example of our initial Schlerian results using the flame from a candle to test effectiveness. This system will be stored on a mobile cart and can be operated anywhere with the appropriate outlets and power capabilities for our chosen vacuum. It was designed with the Northeastern Aerodynamics Lab course in mind, and therefore it is portable and easy for students to operate. The tunnel can be used in experiments to demonstrate compressible flow and apply the concepts taught in Professor Taslam's aerodynamics course. The size and cost are desirable compared to other models on the market, coming in at a fraction of the cost of other models, as well as a more convenient tabletop size, and it is the first of its kind on Northeastern's campus.